important part of the preparation preparing your body to move. Once you've stepped into the space, use your feet to connect to the earth. Feel the space using your feet to sense and connect to the earth through your feet. Pushing down to rise, sense the vertical flow of energy along your spine. And with your thumb and index finger connected, create a triangle that you will look through to set your focus and intent every time you experience Nia, every time you practice Nia. Inhaling and exhaling as a way to energize and prepare to ground and harmonize. The movements that you begin with should be personal and subtle. Imagine that you're inside of a bubble and as you prepare your body for more vigorous movement, as you warm your body up, use your hands, your elbows, your back, your hips to touch and move into the bubble. Look through the bubble and use your eyes. Stretch into the bubble and use your back. Go as deeply as it feels comfortable to the joint and muscle. And rise high to lengthen and open. Using the hands for support to monitor how far you go seeking comfort and pleasure. Palms up will open the shoulder joints. And using the hands, sense the space. You can modify the movement by sinking less. And you can deepen and intensify the movement by sinking more, letting the buttocks move back behind the knees as a way to protect them. You want the body to feel easy on the rise and easy on the sink. Crossing is a way to open the back, palms up, crossing the arms and opening them wide to feel the front and the back side of the body open. A wave like of energy will draw the energy from the tailbone up the spine and if it feels comfortable, move the head by using your eyes, letting your eyes follow the hand. Stretching long and tall, the support for a stretch comes from the leg that you're on, the foot connected to the earth. Be on the left foot to stretch and be on your right foot to stretch. Sense a yawning sensation along the entire side of the body and feel free to slow the movement down 